Moving right along from that, we got to talk about Sharon Osbourne over there from the talk. Sharon Osbourne, the wife of Ozzy Osbourne. I told y'all we ain't known shit that Ozzy was saying. For the last 20-something years, I decided to show you guys a picture of what she really looked like. Not the two to three faces and bodies and hair that she fought. Oh, they didn't bought nowadays. I mean, hell, look at, look, look at the picture where, she, where he got his hands wrapped around her throat. Now, y'all thought that was a picture where she was just being funny. I mean, he was half serious, half real. I mean, y'all thought Ike was bad. Ozzy was Ike on Percocet, Molly, and meth at the same damn time. And so I just, I just want you to imagine that Ike on meth, it definitely would, it would have been even worse for Tina. And so, you know, Sharon Osbourne, after all of the shit that she has put up with, got the nerve to go to her set and clown and act like a mother sucker. Now, let me just give you some backstory real quick. Sharon Osbourne was defending Piers Morgan against racist claims, okay? When Sharon Osbourne was talking to Cheryl Underwood, let me put the picture up there from the talk. This is this is the current pit. First of all, I don't even mess with this crew like that. I don't like nobody but Cheryl. And I'm going to just keep it real with y'all. The original crew, when we had uh, Leah Remini, we had Holly up there. Eve was cool, too. But I'm just like, Eve, why are you doing this? Like, this is just play money for you at this point. But I just, uh, uh, but anyway, uh, cackling hands all talking all, all over one another. But last week when Sharon and Cheryl... We're having a conversation about Piers Morgan and his racism. You literally saw the privilege come out of Karen. I'm Sharon, Karen, Sharon. That came out of her mouth. Always notice that when it comes to confrontation in the corporate workplace, we have to be quiet. We have to be meek. We have to stay in our place. We have to turn the other cheek. Well, I am tired of turning the cheeks. I didn't ran out of cheeks. So while I'm turning cheeks, why don't you just kiss the crack of my ass while you at it? Now Cheryl could have really laid into Sharon, not only on a on a on a bottom level, because Sharon was bottom barreling her ass. She could have got her down here in a gutter. She could have been a vile gutter snipe and came at Sharon, but she also could have did it intelligently because, quite frankly, Cheryl is way more intelligent than Sharon. I'm just saying. You can say a lot of things about Cheryl, but, you know, she ain't never stayed with a man that tried to kill her. All right, moving right along from that. So it just, it showed me the you, you know, it showed me the elitist attitudes that a lot of them have, especially them damn, I'm sorry, the white Brits that come over here, a lot of them feel like they better. I, okay, all right. That's a conversation y'all not ready to have <laughs> about how we mistreat foreigners and Loki, how a lot of foreigners come over here with an elitist attitude. And I'm just like, I don't know what kind of television you've been watching, but it, it, it ain't all what you see on the TV. And sometimes you got to remind them. Sometimes you just have to. So. After that happened with Cheryl, you know, social media went in the upworld. Holly Robinson Pete then came out and said, well, you know, Sharon called me ghetto and got me and Leah Remini, who's from King of Queens, got us both kicked off of the talk. And so Sharon denied those claims of calling Holly ghetto only to be proven to be a liar. And so in addition to that, now the newest co-host on the far left. I wrote I, I was supposed to write her name down here in the pink. I cannot remember her name, but she is actually the newest one that is accusing Sharon Osborne of creating a hostile workplace of racism and homophobia. Now everybody ain't lying on your ass, Sharon. Sharon. I'm trying to figure out how you gonna be out here being homophobic when if it wasn't for the gays, nobody would have gave a damn about you in your life. You know, Sharon, you can't tell me you can't do you was a three hundred and fifty pound white woman. You you can't tell me that the only friends you ever had wasn't gays because we know that the gays love the big girls. So come on now because it wasn't, it wasn't no other men looking at you and you didn't fit in with the other women. We just telling the truth. So come on, Sharon. You be up there being homophobic. You creating a hostile environment. Well, hell, you know what hostile is like. You raise your kids in hostility. So I'm trying to figure out how is that cool? How is that okay? And how is that acceptable? Why are we not doing a deeper dive into what's going over there at the Talking on CBS? Because guess what? Julie Chen, who was like the uh, the star of the show, she helped to start it. I'm sorry, her husband, who was out, allegedly out here sexually assaulting people, Les Moonves, who's the CEO of, 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 of Viacom, CBS, whatever the hell that shit. Remember, remember when Julie, remember when Julie Chen stuck up for her man, even though he was accused of out here uh, uh, doing the R word on women. 
Taking the kitty cat. Don't y'all remember when Julie Chen? I mean, she showed us the obvious. I knew that wasn't your original face, Julie. But don't you remember when Julie showed what she really looked like and all the shit she did? So she wouldn't look Asian no more. She would look white and she would get it. Julie Chen showed you who she was when she was willing to swap out her head, Khloe Kardashian style, just to have a damn career. You do what you gotta do. But damn, sissy, look. I mean, if y'all think I'm lying, go back and look at them old pics. Now, Julie Chen, you weren't keeping it all real because you had a little bit more than. The eyelid surgery. You had eyelid surgery, no job. You got a whole face. You you were the Chloe way before there was a Chloe. Quite frankly, I think that Chloe knew was inspired by your ass. So anyway, so moving right along from that, we need to do more investigations over there at the talk. Where's the why, why is there racism? Why is there hostility? Why is there sexual assault allegedly going on? And why does it take the black people to come to call the shit out? We always out here being the saving damn grace. As far as I'm concerned, why stop everybody's checks? Everybody like their damn job. Send shit. Sharon ass back home. She don't need the money and we tired of her and hell she wouldn't have had no career if it wasn't for Ozzy anyway. We wouldn't have gave no damn about her. I mean, she was his manager, but you know, she couldn't manage him that damn much. I'm trying to figure out why does somebody who has had such humble beginnings feel like such a damn elitist. That just lets you know no matter how low and in the gutter they are and where they are from, they still feel like they are better than me and you. They have that one leg up on us, but you don't. I wish Shira would have really kicked and torn into your ass, Sharon. I wish Cheryl would have, but she did. And it's sad because Cheryl has to play that part if she wants to keep working. You know, that's I'm not, I'm not a mainstream type of dude. I got a mouth like a sailor, and at any given moment, I just you just you can't control me like that. So I'm not a mainstream type of dude. But my thing is, damn, Cheryl, this is the good thing about being like me, because you could cuss a whole out quick and just move on with your day, but you literally can't cause you know she like low-key your boss. But damn, Cheryl, damn, Cheryl, she 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 I ain't gonna lie, she pumped you, baby. She pumped you, but you handled it with class and style and grace. But I'm sick of always having class and style and grace. Sometimes you want to get in the dirt. It feel good. Hell, I told my therapist that. He said, you got to take the high road more. I said, I, I'm I'm high enough. I want to take the low road. Sometimes I want to swim in the mud sometimes. I'm just saying, you just do. But anyway, all in all, full investigation over there at the talk is BS because we really need a full investigation on CBS. It's, it's definitely Definitely been a hostile environment for years, which is why you've seen them them guests go in and out the way that they are. They need to do a full investigation over there on the real and see just how real it is behind closed doors. And you know the view as well. D dive deep into all that shit. Cause there's definitely elitism going on over there. Just Sharon, you just messed up every go home, Sharon. Quit your job. Go home. You don't need the money. Go home. Why are you taking everybody down with you? Cause this is the only thing you never had that was worth a substance. Shit, good. Go home. You and show you 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 ain't ready to sit down. Why do you Hollywood hoes be so greedy? I be starting to think like I ain't really got money like that for real, for real. Cause once I got enough money, I be wanting to sit my ass down, especially if my mistakes is sinking down. Down the whole damn ship and you don't need the money anyway i would much rather you see you do another reality show and you give us another five to seven years of trying to figure out what in the hell ozzy is saying to you i would you know what you know what sharon you got all that hostility where was the hostility for the hairstylist that yeah you was paying over the years that was coloring your man and riding your man at the same damn time i'm trying to figure that out where was the hostility when it came to the woman that was sleeping with your husband your husband got the shakes and your husband ain't been audible in the last 25 30 years but he still know how to get that cootie cat stevie wonder ain't seen ever and he still know where the damn cootie cat is so I guess um, no matter what the pussy has power and you're just going to be attracted to it but at the end of the day where was all the smoke for that where was all the loudness for that but you did anything to stick up for your man Piers you don't you don't know Piers Piers you don't know him you don't know how he treated anybody you don't know what anybody's experience was you only know your experience Sharon what if we all got on your ass and said well when Ozzy was beating your ass it wasn't that bad when he forced you to take them pills it wasn't that bad when he choke slammed you down the steps it wasn't that bad what if we told you it wasn't that bad when you was 500 pounds well it wasn't that bad you didn't have to get bastard gastric bypass we, what, what, what if we was to invalidate your experience but you feel like that no matter what because you look the way that you look that you can act the way that you act and now you run that throwing a hissy fit and crying them tears out that face that don't move no more fuck your tears I, I got your tears in this cup and they mighty salty let's all drink of some white lady tears we don't care 
we're over it, and ain't nobody taking no racism shit in 2021. So you want to be racist on your job, you might as well go ahead and put in your two weeks and find you something else to do. Damn, go home. Go home, Sharon. Go home. It's okay. Let me see what y'all think. Are you ready to be liberated? Have you found that you and your partner's love life is boring and you need a boost? Then I got the perfect book for you. While we all locked down on this COVID quarantine, go ahead to Amazon and cop erotic liberations. And oh yes, it's very erotic. See, erotic liberations is so steamy that it was banned on Facebook and it will take you to a climax that you have never reached before. See, erotic liberations makes Fifty Shades of Grey seem like a Dr. Seuss book. It will enhance your creativity, entertain you and help to raise that freak number. You know, we all want to find our inner freak, you know, that person that we got locked away in a cage. All right. And erotic liberations is guaranteed to blow your mind so that you and your partner can blow each other all night. Head to Amazon right now and get Erotic Liberations, Arthur by Marlon Green and Karen Crane.